This is the third video in the series of uh, tutorial videos on the Canon EOS 500D, um, Canon Rebel T1i and the Canon KISS X3. Um, in this video we're just going to go over the initial setting up of the camera, so showing you what you will see going through the basic menus in auto mode, um, just before you can start shooting. Okay, here we go. Uh, as I said, we're just going to take you through the basic menus um, that you'd go through when you set the camera up. Our uh, camera's currently powered up, set on auto mode, and as we can see here, it's uh, designated by this um, green square, it says full auto. Um, image quality there again, auto ISO, very, very limited controls. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go into the menu. Okay, and we'll start at the first screen here on the far right. Here we can change the brightness of the LCD. Um, now, brightness of the LCD will affect how your images appear when you're reviewing them on the screen. So what we recommend doing is choosing your preferred setting um, by hitting set and using this dial here to go up or down with brightness. Set it at your preference and then leave it be because Otherwise, you're going to um, start to affect how you review the images. It's going to make things appear brighter or darker. It doesn't affect your actual um, shot or your exposure. It's just how you may perceive them on the back of the camera. And we can change the date and time here by pressing set. And then set again to change any particular value that we want to. The month, year, and time and so forth. So that's fairly straightforward. Come out of there. We can change the language. Uh, set on English for myself at the moment. We've got quite a wide uh, range of language options. And I say I'm not going to change it because, uh, no, my luck, I, don't, I won't be able to change it back later. So we'll leave that on English. Um, video system currently is set on PAL, which is the European system. NTSC is used in the States and probably some other regions as well. Um, you guys may, may well be able to tell me which. Um, so I'll leave that set on PAL. Um, it's nice that you can actually change it, so if you do travel, um, you can change it when you're dealing with video. Down here now we have sensor cleaning. Um, the camera automatically cleans the sensor um, when you power it up or power it down. And what it does, it just vibrates the sensor, um, well, locks the mirror mechanism up, vibrates the sensor just to shake the dust off. It's not 100% effective. You will need to use manual cleaning methods or send it off to a shop to get it cleaned if you don't want to do that yourself. Um, speaking of cleaning, I will go through that in a later video. Um, that will be separate from these tutorials. Now, if we go into this menu here for sensor cleaning, we can choose clean now. And OK. And you'll hear the mirror go. There you go. And that's the cleaning done. OK, that will light up again so you can go again if you want to. Automatic cleaning is enabled, which I will leave on. And now you press menu, top left here, just to go back. In the next tab, you've got auto power off options, which is for power saving. Now you may remember that when you cover these dials here, the screen will generally go off unless you're actually within the menus. So that would normally go off if you're on the front menu. Okay, like so to save power. So if we go back onto here, then we can press set. And we can change the auto power off between 30 seconds, going through up to 15 minutes, or leave it off. So it will always stay powered on camera goes into a low power state so it doesn't switch off completely so it's very very quick to respond and wait back up again and um, should you need to take a shot in fact it's it feels quicker than when you first fire the camera you know far quicker than when you first fire the camera up so it's not going to cause you to miss shots I don't think so I'll leave mine on four minutes it's a good time so you, you kind of weigh up uh, battery life and uh, usability of the camera with that option file numbering there we go we can go continuous auto reset or manual reset the numbers and it's just the number incrementation of the file so uh, I don't know I think the Canon file number system is IMG underscore and then 0001 or, or something else um, so I've actually reset mine during the, the making of this tutorial so my counters now are way off I've got no idea how many frames I've shot but there we go um, so we'll leave that as it is Auto rotate is so for when you're connecting the camera up to the PC or Mac and when it imports the uh, files over or the images over it will automatically rotate any images that need to be. 
um, that's down to the orientation of the camera so if you've taken a shot landscape you'll be okay if you've taken a shot in this orientation in portrait mode then it may well need to um, rotate that for you so that's the settings for that mine's always set to, uh, within in camera and on the PC I've never ever changed that format is where we format the memory card now it, ha it warns you here all data will be lost okay low level format which is going up one oops, sorry back one here I won't let me do it on this card actually because I've just formatted it anyway um, if you can go usually with a, a card that's not been pre-formatted you can go to low level by going up ticking the box and then coming back down to OK and um, generally what I'll do when I get a new card that's what I'll do is a low level format and whenever I want to clear the cards if I'm sure I've got everything off uh, make sure you've got all your images off come on to into this menu hit OK and it will just format the card if you do this by accident um, you can recover the images off the card using specialist software or having someone who's got the specialist software uh, maybe a camera shop do that for you although it's not guaranteed recovery um, LCD auto off is enabled uh, it will power off um, when the camera is inactive you, you know there's no input through any of the camera controls after a period of time it will turn off to save power um, screen color here we can change the color of the front menu system that's the current default one so if I change it to my usual one here number four and we go back you notice that we've got a slightly different layout it's actually more of a green on a dark background um, it, the outlines look blue you know, just because of the uh, white balancing of the camp of the video camera at the moment so we'll go back in change that back up there we go in the next tab we have image jump using this um, control wheel which is at the front of the camera I'll just show you that now there okay is it will jump 10, Im 10 images um, 100 images one image date by movies to stills so you can choose your preference on how you like to cycle through your images and the contents of your card okay slideshow we'll play a slideshow if there's any images on there um, I haven't actually got any images on there to show you at the moment so we'll go back um, histogram is viewed by brightness or red green and blue channels I won't go too much into the histogram but the histogram is how you would gauge your exposures on the back of the back of the camera um, but we will cover the histogram in more detail because it's um, it's got a couple of tricks up its sleeve we'll just say that okay um, in this next tab we've got transfer order and um, so you can pick the order that the images are transferred over or probably pick them by date batches and um, print order will be the same for printing when you connect the camera to a printer so you can choose which ones are printed erase images you can choose image by image or within date range rotate you can rotate images within the camera if you feel the need to protect the images you can write protect images so nothing can be actually deleted or written to um, the card to overwrite the images that you're trying to protect you can also do that manually on the memory cards there's a little tab you can slide up to help protect them and here we can change the image quality from shooting JPEG large so super fine JPEG large fine medium super fine medium fine small and you notice the resolution changes here from 15 megapixels down to 8 3.7 and then raw plus large JPEG or shoot raw which is what I normally do so we'll leave that set as it is and um, focus peep so when you press half, half press the shutter you'll hear the camera go beep beep to say it's focused you can turn that on or off you might want to turn it off if you're shooting wildlife so you don't disturb them release shutter without the card allows you to actually fire a shot without any card being in not much point in that um, review time is the automatic review time is when you take a shot it will automatically come up on the back of the screen for two for eight seconds or hold indefinitely Peripheral illumination correction is aware of which lens you're using on the camera. At the moment I've got the kit lens on and also and what it does it corrects for dark corners in the image uh, due to vignetting which we will cover um, at a later stage and options for red eye on or off where it will pre-fire the flash um, to reduce red eye so people's eyes don't look uh, red in portraits. So that's just a quick overview of some of the menus in auto mode on the camera on the Canon EOS 500D uh, please feel free to ask questions um, 
comment or subscribe and I will see you in the further videos. Thanks very much. Bye.